Srila Prabhupada was traveling all over the world. And he would come to a place, when he would come to a place to give a class, I mean, devotees were so grateful. You know, of all the hundreds of temples and all the thousands of devotees, he's come to our little temple to give class. So much effort he made to be there just to encourage the devotees, to enlighten them. And I had seen, I was at one community, he came in 1976, and he was giving class, the teachings of Prahlad, and the temple room was completely full. It was not a big temple room. But everybody in the community and people from all other temples, from different parts of America came just to be with Prabhupada there, so it was really, really super crowded. And there was no air conditioners or anything. So it was quite hot, Prabhupada's sitting and he's speaking with so much enthusiasm and compassion. And I must tell you, because there was no place for me to sit, so I was standing. I was standing like just outside the door looking in because I had to milk cows, so I was a little, I came in just, you know, after everybody was assembled. And it was incredible, because at least 75% of the people were sleeping in his class. Because, <laughs> you know, they were hard working and they didn't get much sleep. Prabhupada's speaking in <laughs> And I was, I have to admit, I was standing up, I was going like this, but I didn't, I couldn't really fall asleep because I wasn't sitting down. But I was standing and, because you know, the, everyone, you only sleep a few hours and you work so hard and doing all these things. And, and Prabhupada, so much effort to come there to speak to us. And it's the only chance of the day for 95% of the community to be with Prabhupada. It's only during his class. Otherwise, there's no access. And we're waiting for years for him to come. Just waiting, counting. He would only come once every two years. And we wouldn't see him any time except that. And finally he comes. And the one chance we get in the day to be with him I was just watching and thinking, this is really interesting. First day he gave class for about an hour. Second day about a half hour. Third day about 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember he said, you are all very tired because you work so hard. <laughs> it was so encouraging. But even when everyone was sleeping, he was still so enthusiastic. If there was one person listening, that was good enough. He was totally enthusiastic to speak. But I was, we can't judge, because even those people who, they may, the people sleeping may really have a very deep inclination to hear. They're just really tired. They want to hear, they want, they want, but... But we shouldn't be like that. 